Yeah, so this is 30 shows for the Hell City Tattoo Fest that we've done in 20 years, both in Ohio and uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So this is actually our 30th show. This is the first show we've done back here in Phoenix, Arizona since 2019, since the pandemic began. Last year when we were here, the last year that we were here, 2019, we had a record attendance, record participation with everything. And it's Friday right now at Hell City and we're having a great crowd already. And I think people are really happy to have the Hell City Tattoo Fest back here in Phoenix. Well, yeah, so I did my first tattoo when I was 13 years old, believe it or not. Uh, me and a bunch of my punk rock skateboard friends, we uh, found mom's sewing needle and thread and found some indie ink at the local art store. And we were little rebels to begin with, so we actually started tattooing ourselves when we were 13 years old. Just little hand poke stuff on our ankles. That kind of led into to a real fascination for tattooing. Um, at the age of 16, I started getting professionally tattooed, lying about my age, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, 16 is when I received my first professional tattoo from an artist, Tim Miller, that I would later go on to actually tattoo for right out of high school. So when I graduated high school, I started tattooing at Tim's Tattoo Studio in Columbus. Um, and then I just never looked back, really. I, I realized the life that it gave me, and I just dedicated my life to it. Um, I traveled the country for a while um, after I worked for Tim, but I came back to Columbus, Ohio uh, a couple years later and opened up my first tattoo studio in 1994. So when I thought of the Hell City Tattoo Festival, I had already been doing a lot of conventions, you know, um, from actually when I was 18, started traveling, hitting conventions, but there's a lot of things that I noticed about conventions back then that, that were lacking, that weren't focused on the artists. Uh, I always look at tattooing as like a visual, you know, it's a visual art form. So therefore the convention should be very visual and artistic and a lot of eye candy and stuff like that. So when I started putting together the Hell City Tattoo Fest, it was kind of almost from shortcomings that I see at other shows that I wanted to improve upon. And it's just been a winning, you know, winning formula. The artists love the show. I think they can feel the difference that we put into the show with the focus on them and the quality of the artists, the quality of everything. Uh, and they're very busy shows too, so that's very nice. Well, originally when I came, when I brought the show, when I brought Hell City to Phoenix, um, it's got such a huge tattoo and, and modified community here in Phoenix, Arizona that when we'd already done it in Columbus, Ohio since 2002. So when we were looking for like a new place to bring the Hell City Tattoo Fest, we wanted it to, to bring it to like a city that would really appreciate it and embrace it uh, with the, you know, the modified and tattooed community. So we brought it here to Phoenix and it's been nothing but like, you know, accepted, it's booming. We love the, you know, the Phoenix crowd and the community here. So that's, you know, the original uh, reason why we brought it was to Phoenix. We didn't know where we were gonna do it. We looked at a couple different venues and things like that, but we know we knew at that point that we wanted to bring it to the Biltmore because of the luxury and just, to put on a, a convention in a place like this really kind of elevates tattooing and the art and the artists and things like that. So once we locked it down here at the Biltmore, people are kind of like, when people show up, they're like, how did you get this place to let you do this? You know, because it's so classy and they're not used to events like this here. So yeah, just it's been a winning formula. The staff here is amazing. And over the years, we've noticed them lightening up a little bit. We noticed people that work here now are able to show their tattoos. So, you know, with, with the quality of the show also shows you know, that, that we are professionals, we're good people, we're not gonna, you know, raise a ruckus. And the, the Biltmore's really embraced us. And I think it's also changed the, their view of how to run their business as well and be a little more alternative and accepting of, of tattoos. So that's, that's one of the big questions I get from a lot of people where it's kind of like, how do you do so much? You know, and it's not just me, it's my team of everybody that works with the Hell City Tattoo Fest. And, you know, that's, that's the winning formula for me is, is a combination of, of my work, my team's work, and everything like that. Yeah, getting into the industry is really hard. Even getting an apprenticeship yeah. is very difficult, you know. Nowadays there's a lot of more studios and stuff like that, but advice for younger people getting into tattooing or like going to conventions and things like that, you know, don't don't hold back. Let yourself, you know, speak to the artists and, and really get to know people. Look at the portfolios, take time at people's booths so that 
the artists see you taking time as well and immerse yourself. If you have tattoos that you've done, put them on the stage in a competition. You never, you know, you never know. Participate, be a part of it. If there's seminars, take the seminars. That's how you're going to learn. You know, you got to educate to dominate, is what they say. So, taking the seminars, participating, meeting the artists, be at that main stage, and really be a part of the conventions and the industry in general. So yeah, the rumors are somewhat true about this being the last Hell City Tattoo Fest we're doing here in Phoenix, Arizona. I originally made that decision when the uh, pandemic first hit. We had our first show in Ohio canceled completely, like months right before we were getting ready to do it. So through the pandemic, as a convention promoter, we all felt pretty helpless, you know, and hopeless that conventions were gonna make even a comeback. You know, we all lost a lot of money when our shows got canceled. And it just seemed like there was no end in sight for, you know, bringing back conventions or indoor gatherings at that point. So me as a promoter, when that was going on, I was like, you know what? I've had an amazing time. I've somewhat changed the tattoo industry with conventions. I'm good. And I was going to bow out, you know, because just uncertainty mainly. But I'll tell you what, coming back with this show and how everybody's enjoying it and seeing it happen again, is kind of changing my mind. So we're not... The word is this is the last one, but in my mind, we may entertain it you know, in future years again. They're getting ready to, to completely remodel this whole ballroom. So regardless, we couldn't do it next year here because they're gonna tear this place apart. But we'll see what's, uh, what's going on. We're gonna come back to, uh, to Phoenix. Or... Yeah, oh dude, yeah. So when you see stuff like this go down, like, like seeing a pool party and seeing everybody having fun really makes me wanna like do it again, you know? So let me tell you something too, Kingpin, you guys have been amazing at Hell City. You've been an amazing sponsor. Brian, the whole crew, super friendly, super professional. You guys have helped us out over the years too with the stencil areas, sponsoring, giving out products, uh, sharps containers and everything. So we can't thank you enough, Kingpin, from the Hell City Tattoo Festival and from me personally. You guys are amazing. Your company's amazing, always has been. We really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Definitely, thank you.